first person singular. The views expressed in this piece are those of the writer. For Don Perlmutter, an organic chemistry class brings up a troubling memory. Dr. Leonard Brady shuffled slowly into the lecture hall and carelessly dropped his notes on the podium. A rumpled man in his mid-fifties, he was listless, worn down by the grind of the academic routine. His hair was combed forward into a widow's peak in the center of his forehead. He removed his glasses, held them up, then breathed heavily on the lenses. After a wipe with a handkerchief, he held them up again to check his work. Satisfied, he replaced his glasses and began to shuffle through his notes. Oblivious to the 175 students who had filled the hall for the start of the organic chemistry course, Dr. Brady spent the next five minutes rifling through his briefcase. Finally looking up, he perused the gathering of expectant students, then began to speak in slow, measured phrases. Every year, enrollment for this course grows. Not coincidentally, the number of pre-med majors also grows. I know who you are. Again, not coincidentally, the war in Southeast Asia is expanding. I know many of you are seeking a student deferment from the draft by attending medical school. I also know that organic chemistry is an important piece of the pre-med curriculum. I'm here to tell you that I'm not sympathetic to those of you who are going for an MD to avoid military service. I consider myself to be a gardener. I want to weed out those who don't care about chemistry and who use this course as a means to an end. The words flowed without hesitation. He had delivered this speech before. He was devoid of emotion and never looked up to face us until the end. An insipid smile broke his flat expression. When he stopped speaking, there was silence in the hall, except for a few wooden chairs squeaking as students shifted nervously. That class led to a successful career for Don Perlmutter in optometry. For First Person Singular, this is Lori Korn.